Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the genetic survival game where you mix and match all sorts of different creatures, try to combine their genes, even end up with mutations, which is something that we can now do. And we try to explore, keep our little tribe of animals alive and see how the generations change over time. Totally awesome. I'm already really in love with this. Please remember this is the early access for the game. So this is a demo version. Niche is almost done with its Kickstarter. It is almost done uh, like like working on things behind the scenes from what I gather. So hopefully the game will be out later in the summer. I'm really crossing my fingers for that or at least the year. So I'm really, really enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. And last time we left off, we had just grown our tribe of animals quite significantly. The goal is to get to at least 10 tribe members, but we have just managed to get our tribe bumped up from Adam and Eve. Here's Eve, she's getting super old. We're actually closing out on old age, so I'm a little bit worried. But Adam and Eve have actually had several children, uh, including this one right here, Kaduk Duke, a male who has like a good sniffer, good at gathering, really good at wandering around the place, great speed for exploring. And then they also had Rilana here, a female, and she is a pretty decent at things. She's got good sniffer, she's okay at speed. You can see the different genetic traits they have um, right over here, like the, the kind of mutations or some of the uh, colors, some of her abilities that she carries genetically and we had run into this new guy Duke New and this one's really cool because he's green just look at him he's green with spots and like a little black antler and he just had a baby he just had this tiny little baby boy uh, Duck Taro which they all come with like random generated names but he just had this tiny little baby boy who is pink of all things really awesome pink color I really love it. Aren't they pretty too? They're just gorgeous little creatures. We have a really awesome little pink color. And he happens to carry the stout antlers, which give you some strength. And he's going to have normal body size. I'm pretty sure that's what these mean up here. But we're just going to have to keep breeding, kind of understanding what the different genetics mean. And he's got some good strength. And he's got okay speed. He's not very good at gathering. But uh, he does have those antlers, which I really love. I would love to breed for more of those antlers. So that's probably something we're going to be doing. But all right, let's go ahead and... <gasps> Food! Food, quick, we need food. You you need food in order just to keep the tribe alive. So hurry, get it. Yes, all right, there's that. And we're gonna go ahead and have you go ahead and collect the berries. And then I'm gonna have Adam start exploring a little bit more because that's something he's wanted to do. But I might have him get back over to Eve because we do need to get the goal of actually having them be able to meet up and like have more babies because Eve's gonna die soon. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's like a berry bush in the savannah. That's so cool. And I think, uh, oh, and we have a new gene we just unlocked. Big ears, ears big, increased hearing ability, prefers hotter climates. So I think that's from clearing out the savannah tiles. And then I think we have a smaller body, body lean. Ooh, faster movement and better adaption to hotter climates. And there are different like temperatures that what you pick uh, can determine like how comfortable your animals are. So I thought that was really interesting. But we should probably have this one start wandering around. Um, maybe you as well. We do need to gather up some food. Uh, let's see, is that everything? All right, Eve, you can collect up a couple more berries. But yeah, we'll see if we can get Eve and Adam to have uh, like at least one more child before it's time for him to move on. All right, let's get the little baby. This is Secor, the baby that they just had. And we'll let you just kind of sit over here, little one. Hey, come here. Oh, you can't move yet. Okay, you stay in the nest then. And then let's get Adam. Can I get him? Oh, Adam, get the food. That's so cool. Lots of food. Oh, he's a good hunter. Oh, no. And he's about to die, I think. <laughs> I'll have to see if we can get them to breed before that happens. And meanwhile, look at you. You're a good little explorer. Well, let's keep the child safe in the center. Um, and then maybe have these two have another baby, if possible. Like, uh, if not right now, I'll have her, like, collect up a berry and then pop over here. And then I'll have him, can he like pop right here and breed with her? Let's see, that would be one, two, one action, two action, three action, maybe. The, the, the little, oh, yes, okay. So there we go, got the food and let's go ahead. We have unlocked after having so many new members of the tribe, the second genetic ability. So let's go ahead and say, I wanna have um, the paw berry and big ears. And I wonder if that's going to give us... Where's the antlers? I don't think we've unlocked the antlers. Um, and you have to mutate things. And I can't remember... 
I can't quite remember. Uh, your offspring might mutate the genes in the slots. So I think you just have to like keep trying and then eventually it might mutate. So there we go. She is pregnant now. Their child is growing. Eve is over here. I'm just going to have Eve like constantly picking berries to feed everybody. And then this little one is over here with some berries. And I'm going to have you explore. All right, and that's everything we can do for now. So next day, hang in there, Adam and Eve. Oh, we have another baby born. Also, was that danger sounds? Was that like the sounds of danger all of a sudden? Not cool. I'm going to make sure he gets over here. He needs to protect Adam. Like he needs to protect Eve and the baby so we don't lose anybody. All right, we're going to do a little exploring here. Then you, sir. I might send him over to explore in just a second as well. I kind of want him just to have another baby already. So this is Sisby, who actually is really great at speed and has those antlers in normal size body, normal paws. Very cute. As a little baby, can't have it leave uh, the area just yet. So I'm going to have you collect some berries. Um, and actually, she can breed with him now if we wanted to. We could try something else. What if I... I wish I could yank... Hmm... What about black eye color? It looks like their kids are kind of ending up with brown eyes. Secondary color? What does this do? So does that give them like secondary colors under their fur? Because I really want to see the green come through. That's what I really want to see. Um, a crippled paw with no advantage. Normal paws, long legs to make you run like the wind. Let's try that. Like let's do big ears and normal paws. And maybe let them try for another baby. Mm. If she can reach him right now. She can't reach him right now. So we'll collect berries. And have him like peek over here. Alright. And you my little one can start moving around. But you can't do anything. And Eve is kind of keeping a nervous eye on this. Oh this is really cool. Alright. Everybody's growing. We're going to try to figure out what the heck is over here already. Making all this noise. All right, the baby can move out. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and collect berries because he's already used up all his abilities. You, my friend. Ah, it moved. That ma that little rabbit is so hard to like tackle. All right, this baby still can't come out. So let's have you come and explore. What the heck? <gasps> help! Help! Eve! Eve, help! I think we need some help here. <laughs> Who's the strongest? Eve is actually... She's not that strong. He's that strong. I don't think it's Eve. What do we do? Here, move over here and collect some berries. Oh boy. Oh no, we have run into a carnivore. A huge carnivore. <gasps> Adam! He's dead! Just like that! Get the baby away! Run, little one! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's just terrible. I can't believe that happened. Oh gosh. We've lost a, a group member. All right, quick collect berries. Um, I'm gonna have her like jump over here. Gonna have him get the, the bunny. Come over here. I'm gonna let them breed because now we desperately need to get our numbers back up again. Eve is at the end of her life stage, I think. I think she is as old as she's possibly going to get. So I don't know if she's going to even have time to do anything more. We'll just have her collect berries. This guy is exploring. And this little one is a teenager and can't really, like, collect yet, I don't think. There we go. <gasps> Eve! Eve, thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for, for gathering the last of the berries for us. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, and the baby they just had. The baby they just had has spots. So this is Tanu, a baby who is a fast one and good, a decent at gathering in strength. Not the best, but has the antlers. Um, in fact, has the, the ram horn. So we've had a mutation, I think, where we get the ram horn. That is really cool. All right, well, as much as I don't want to risk losing this guy. Okay, I don't want to risk losing that guy, so actually I'm going to have their kid come over. What is over here? <gasps> Hello! Now that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to have them mate. So welcome to the family, my friend. You were making so much noise. I thought we were about to run into another, like, predator. All right, and this guy is doing pretty good, so I'm going to send him over here to collect some berries. He actually is a decent gatherer. 
And then we have that big giant carnivore just sitting over there, threatening everyone. I'm just gonna gather up some berries for now. Um, maybe come over here, do a little peeking. We're gonna keep the baby safe up here. And then Eve can actually come over and she is not the greatest at collecting berries, to be honest, but at least it does something. So we'll have her collect some berries. Goodbye, and then actually this isn't Eve, this is Rilana. I was naming her Eve after her mother. Eve the second, basically. So interesting. All right, so now, oh wow, look at that ram horn. Isn't that awesome? And look at those spots, that is so cool. So let's have you scooch over, little one. And then you are, oh, she's the female. Okay, I'm gonna have her come over here. And then you can come over here and start peeking at things. You peek at things too. And then you can actually help collect berries. All right, and you're not the best berry collector, my dear, but you have very pretty babies with your mate over here. So I'm gonna have her get a little closer to her mate because they can actually meet and then we can send her over. Also, what's going on with your paw? Oh, she's holding it up to represent her paw strength. Okay, well, she's cool. And as you can see, she's pregnant. So we're gonna leave her over here. And then let's see what goes on if I have you do a little bit of exploring, my friend. All right, so that's everybody over here. In fact, can I have you? I'm gonna leave you there so you can have your baby. <gasps> it's a green baby! It's a green baby! Oh my gosh, and there's the little thing. Did I get him? Did I get him? Ah, I think I scared him away. All right, so now we have the stout ram horn properly unlocked. I really want spots. I really want spots to be unlocked. So no pattern, so if you just want something without a pattern. Um, and I think what I want to try, let's get ram horn and big ears. Ram horn and paw berry. Let's try those two out. And then I'm going to have you come over here, mate with her, so she can come over here. And then, oh, she's hungry. So, oh, they can take damage if they're hungry and that lowers their lifespan. That's not good. But we need to have her move over. Okay, there we go. Oh, now we're starting to get to the point where I have to be very strategic about, like, how many moves we make in a day. I think that you, my friend, as the gatherer of two berries, needs to come over here. You're gonna have to return. Sorry, Kaduk Duke. He, oh, he's about to die of old age. He was one of our very first ones. I think he was our very first baby and his color has changed and he's about to die of old age. <laughs> no, that's so sad. And then we have Kosi, the little baby who's green and has a decent snout, a toxic body. <gasps> So nobody is going to eat Kosi, or if we offer Kosi up as like a sacrifice and someone eats him, that would be kind of sad, but then it would keep all of our other ones alive. All right, so let's see. I can't remember, like, as long as you don't do inbreeding, I think is the big thing. So this is a female, this is a male. I might have this one, this guy come over. He's about to pass away, actually, and breed with her and just see what we get. So I'll move him over here. We're running low on food, so I need to be a little cautious about this. And then, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll try having these two breed, because we're about to lose him. And she can collect a berry, collect a berry, and pop over here to kind of balance things out. And he's a decent gatherer, so since he's about to pass away, I'm going to have him collect a couple berries. And then she actually needs to get into a nest, because I forgot she was pregnant. So she'll come over and do that. You're going to stay right there, because you can collect berries. All right, and then who else can collect a lot of berries? Can you collect a decent amount of berries? Not really, so we're gonna have you explore. And we have the little babies! So we just need to kind of keep an eye on the little babies. All right, that's a rock. That's just a piece of grass. So yeah, I almost forgot about the survival part of this where the more individuals you have in the group, the more you have to think about feeding everyone when you do the moves. So let's see. You did it! Congratulations! It took you 22 days to complete this challenge. You have hereby officially beaten the demo version, but feel free to keep playing. That was really fun. And now we have a purple baby. A purple baby! Look at that! That was really cool. So this is Kome, and I would love to see how, like, oh, the fur colors I don't think are fully implemented just yet. But that was awesome, you guys. And now we have, oh, too hot. Oh, we have little Lako, and I think Lako needs, uh, oh, these are the different environments. So each of the different nests will represent, like, different environments that have, like, that happen here. Stag mole burrow. The stag mole, a tough prey item, gives you five food if killed. Strength level two to hunt. Avoid damage. Uh, less damage makes it withdraw. 
Avoid stepping on the field it's facing. If you kill it, a new one is born after a few days. Very interesting. And then we have the berry bushes. They regrow every day. It fully regrows after rain. We have stones that are obstacles. And then the carnivore has returned to come and eat us. So, oh, and this is, oh, this is a rabbit burrow. Oh, so this is where the rabbits come from. Oh, I get it now. So you can see the rabbit starting to peek out from the burrow. Well, clearly there is a lot to this game and I'm really looking forward to being, oh no, my gosh, she's over here at the, like, the beachfront. What are we gonna do? I'm really looking forward to playing more of it. If you guys would like to just like play the demo version with me, let me know and then I will come back in. Uh, there's no way to save right now. So as soon as we leave, we're gonna lose everybody that we currently have. But if you wanna see like a, another niche arch maybe to kind of hold us over until the whole game is out, then let me know. Cause I really think this is very charming and I have a feeling I'm really, really going to enjoy it when the full game comes out. So I'll put some links to like the Kickstarter and all of its other information in the video description below. Let me know what you guys think and I look forward to sharing more adventures in this genetic survival game with you next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye!